Hello, family, and welcome to Word of Wisdom with D, where we pray that you obtain wisdom, knowledge, and understanding in God as well as in His Word. And on today, I'm going to talk about obtaining godly wisdom. You know, this is a new year. This is a new beginning. This is, you know, we like to restart, <laughs> basically, some of us. I ain't going to say everybody, but we like to restart. And, you know, I had did a post on Facebook you know, saying that I pray that everyone will want to have a closer relationship with God. And one of the ways we can have a closer relationship with God is obtaining godly wisdom. And the way that we obtain godly wisdom, it says first here in Proverbs 9 and 10, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. So first, we have to have that fear of the Lord. And when you have the fear of the Lord, you are having respect. You reverence God. You are obedient to God. You want to do what you can to have the up, you know, have utmost respect for God. You just want to be in that position where you feel. Fear the Lord. Now, when we talk about fear, I remember being little, not even little, I want to say in my 20s, when I read, when I kept hearing the word, the fear of the Lord, you have to have the fear of the Lord and stuff. And this is when I was just started getting into, you know, um, into God and wanting to know more about God. And I had went to my grandmother, my grandmother Thelma, rest her soul. I had went to her and I asked her, Grandma, what is the fear of the Lord? And that's when she told me it is to reverence and respect our God. And when I was a babe in Christ, I always was, I was thinking that the fear of the Lord is like, I got to be scared of God. You know what I mean? I got to make sure that I'm, I'm doing everything correct in his eye because he about to strike me down or something, something about to happen to me or something. But it did not mean that. And when she told me that, I was just all like, oh, okay. You know, it was like a, a light bulb <laughs> went off and stuff. And that right there, when I asked that question was the beginning of me obtaining God's wisdom because I wanted to know what was the fear of the Lord and once again like I said it's nothing but respecting God it's nothing but reverencing him and how do you go about respecting and reverencing God is first obeying him and second, let him, allow, let him know that he is the one that's over and in charge in your life. He's the ruler of your life. That is what fear of the Lord is. Giving him his honor when honor is due, where honor is due. Giving him praise when praise is due. Giving him the glory when his glory is due. Just knowing that you being here on this earth. And that you can't do nothing without your God on, on your side. Giving him that much respect and that much reverence in your life is the beginning. The beginning of wisdom. It's when you begin to fear him. When you begin to respect him. When you begin to honor him and stuff. That is the beginning of of wisdom so you know I had to look up wisdom I went ahead and looked up wisdom you know in a concordance and it was saying skillful and experienced and I was like okay skillful and experienced so I went on to start asking God more questions like okay what is skillful and experienced like what 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 do I need to be skillful and experienced and to obtain your godly wisdom and he said, in him, when you become skillful and experienced, you have to begin to go through some things to get that experience. You have to go through training. You have to go through preparation. You have to go through some trials, some tribulations, some circumstances to become experienced and skillful. 
When you start going through that stuff, you'll begin to start relying on God more. You'll begin to start praying to God more. You begin to start seeking God more. You begin to start doing more acknowledging God than anything. When you begin to go through the experience, to get the experience and the skill to obtain God's wisdom. Now you can't obtain God's wisdom and ain't never been through nothing. You can't obtain God's wisdom and don't listen and obey God. Because first of all, God's wisdom, knowledge, and his understanding lies within his word, within the word of God. So if you're going through a circumstance or a situation and stuff, that's when you need to start beginning to pull on God's word, to pull on God so that he could give you a, a rhema word, which is something like, you know, you get a prophetic word from somebody or he speaks to you um, personally, like you hear him or he'll show you in a dream or he'll show you in a vision and stuff like that, you know. That's when you start getting that wisdom, when you begin to start relying on God even the more. Because even in this verse where it says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and knowledge of the Holy One is understanding that the Holy One is our Holy Spirit that dwells within us. When we begin to allow the Holy One to teach us, to guide us, to convict us, to, to, to do what it does. When we allow that Holy Spirit to do it. That's where we get our, our, wisdom, our understanding from. When we begin to glean on the knowledge of the Holy Spirit. When we begin to, once again, like I said, go to God and ask him for these things. That means we have to pursue. We have to start looking for God's hand. We have to start looking for God's mouth to begin to speak to us. We have to start looking for God's hands to hold us when we in situations that um, we can't bear no more. We need to start looking and seeking for God. Because that's what the fear of the Lord is. Reverencing him and going to him. Now, I, I, I want to throw this example out there. Like, say, for instance, you have a supervisor, okay? And you have the up, utmost respect for your supervisor. And you are having a problem in your job. You got stuck and you don't know how to do something. And for order, you, and, and order for you to get an understanding and the knowledge and the wisdom... To complete that task on your job, you have to go to your supervisor. And you will go to your supervisor because you respect your supervisor that much. Because your supervisor is wisdom. She understands the job. She has knowledge of the, side, of the job. She has the skills and the experience of the job. Because I hope they didn't make her a supervisor without the skills and the experience, you know? So you'll go to your supervisor asking her to help you. That is the same thing with our Heavenly Father. He is the ruler um, of, well, not even, I'll say he is the creator of everything. Why don't we have that respect and that reverence to go to him? Because he's the one that has created all of us. He is the one that obtains the knowledge and the understanding of this wisdom we're trying to seek and get and to obtain. Why wouldn't we go to him with our problems? Why wouldn't we go to him when we need comfort? Why wouldn't we go to him? That's why it lets us know the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Because when we start reverencing and respecting God, respecting, respecting God for, his, for who he is, 
our creator. He is the author and the finisher of our faith. He is Alpha and the Omega, which is the beginning and the end. He is all of that. And when we begin to have that respect and have that knowledge and that understanding of who God is in our life, why wouldn't you go to him for everything? That's why in Proverbs 3, I, um, let me find it. In Proverbs 3, and I believe is, I want to say, 7? No, no, no. Proverbs 5. I mean, Proverbs 3 and 5. It lets us know, trust in the Lord with all your hearts and lean not on your own understanding, but in all your ways, acknowledge him. He didn't say in some of your ways. He didn't say just acknowledge him when you looking for a paycheck or you're looking for a job. He didn't say acknowledge him when you in dire need. He didn't say acknowledge him when you have a good day. No, he said acknowledge him in all your ways, in every area of your life. And that's how you will obtain the wisdom, the godly wisdom, when we go to God for everything, everything. Because once again, I told you, he is the creator. He is the author of our faith. So why wouldn't we go to him? Why wouldn't we ask him? Why wouldn't we seek him? Why wouldn't we just knock on the door and say, hey, God, it's me. It's me, Damaris. It's me again. I need some help. I need some advice. I need some of this. Why? Why don't we just do that? So God could give us that godly wisdom. So we can make the right decisions. So we can make the right choices. So that we can even give out good advice to people. Godly advice. Because there's another scripture in here. I'm going to say it's in Psalms 1. And it tells us, Blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked. So once again, I want to get that godly counsel. I want to get that godly wisdom. I, wanna, I just want to just have that skill an experience of God. And that's what it is. We just want to experience God even the more. We want to get skillful in the things of God even the more. And that's what we're asking and we're seeking for. That we want to obtain his godly wisdom and understanding. And the only way we can obtain his wisdom his knowledge and understanding is first and here Proverbs 9 and 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. When we begin to fear him and then we begin to have the knowledge and understanding. When we start obeying and doing the things of God. When we start beginning to seeking God, getting that prayer life with God, getting that relationship with God, because that's another thing too, is having that relationship, you know, that's how you're going to fear somebody. That's how you're going to get more respect for somebody. That's how you're going to reverence God. And when I mean somebody, I'm talking about God, sorry. That's what you want. And you know, I always, and I still do to this day, when the new year come, I always make my new year resolution is, God, I want more of you. And when I'm asking to have more of God, I'm asking for more of his wisdom. I'm asking for more of his 
knowledge i'm asking for more understanding of him i'm asking for him just to just to give me more of him and the only way i could get more is if i begin to give more of myself to god if i begin to study his word more if i begin to start spending time with him more if i begin to start obeying him more because i can't you know i'm not gonna tell you no lie i don't always obey him I don't always move when he tell me to move. Sometimes I sit back and I be like, okay, God, are you talking to me? Are, um, <laughs> are you sure you telling me to go? Are you sure you're telling me to do this? Because I'm telling y'all the honest God truth. I was very uncertain with this right here. With doing this podcast. With doing this um, YouTube stuff. I was very uncertain. But I stepped out and do it, did it anyway because I had that reverence and that respect for God. I fear him that I know that I will, be, I will start beginning to have more wisdom that I could pour out unto this channel and give to the people. Not me, not Damaris. But God is giving me this wisdom, this understanding, and this knowledge of his word. Because I told God, I want to just, all I want to do is just share his truth so that every and anybody could receive his truth, receive him, come to him, repent, just, you know, even ask for salvation in his name. That's all. I just, I, I, I just lay myself out to him that he would get the glory. He is getting the glory for this because I'm telling you, first of all, Damaris is an introvert. Damaris don't like being in the front, in the front. I could, I'll help you out in the back and everything, but I don't, I don't ask to be out in the front. I don't ask to do this. I don't ask to do that. You know, I'm not that person that, that have the spotlight on me. But if God tells me to do it, I have to have that fear. I have to have that respect and that reverence to know that if God tells me to do it, he's not going to let me fall. It's a purpose why he's telling me to do this. And I trust him. I trust him. And like I said, I like to go back to that scripture and um, Psalms, I mean, sorry, and Proverbs 3, where it does tell us to trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding. And then I'm going to put this in there. Because the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And it says, and the knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. So just walk in what God tells you to do. Just do what God tells you to do. Begin to fear Him so you can become skillful and experienced in Him. So that you could get that godly wisdom. So you could obtain it. So you could do what he tells you to do. Once again, I mean, it just, it comes to my mind. I don't know why this is coming to my mind. We are more than conquerors. When we begin to fear the Lord. And when we begin to fear the Lord, once again, that wisdom, that knowledge and that up and that, um, understanding we begin to flood and pour in the more you fear God the more you will obtain his wisdom because that's a part of experience and being skillful in something is you have to keep doing it and getting training and going to the next level and keep going through so you can get to the next level and the next level because wisdom it, it just it, when you start fearing the Lord, you're just beginning to tap in, beginning to tap into it. So on today, let's just begin to tap into God's wisdom so that we may obtain it. And Lord God, we just thank you on today, Lord God, for giving us 
this word on today lord god that we may begin to fear you and lord god i come to you today lord god for whoever is not saved lord god that they'll come to you lord god right now asking you to forgive them to open up their hearts and their minds unto you, Lord God, that they receive you and that they confess with their mouth, Lord God, and believe in their heart that you, Lord Jesus, had died on the cross for their sins, Lord God. So we thank you, Lord God, for those who are wanting to be safe in you, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for the wisdom, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for giving us more wisdom, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, that we'll begin to start seeking you, Lord God. We begin to start asking you, Lord God. We will begin to start knocking, Lord God, so that we may obtain more wisdom from you, Lord God. That we may begin to have a closer relationship with you, Lord God. That we may begin to have our ears open up to hear you even the more, Lord God. That we may begin to have our spiritual eyes open up even the more Lord God so we could see you moving in our lives Lord God we just thank you on today Lord God for this is the beginning of us obtaining your skills and your experience Lord God that we may obtain more wisdom more knowledge and more understanding and you my God in you I love y'all. I pray that y'all have a blessed day, a blessed week, a blessed month, a blessed year. I just pray that God just continue to flood you with more of him, of his love, joy, peace, everything that is good. I want y'all to be blessed on this year. I just want y'all to be blessed and knowing that God is with you despite whatever you may go in through. I just love y'all. I love my Heavenly Father. And once again, be blessed. Have a blessed day. Have a blessed month. And also have a blessed rest of this year. Amen. Amen. Love y'all and be blessed.